Hey guys, first of all, um, usually I do my, my videos in French, so that's that's my first English video, so it might not be that good. So the, the first thing I want to try was like a very light build, because um, I bought the rally car model, and uh, it's really slow, because I think it's, it's too heavy. Also the gear setup is not really good, I think. So I tried to improve both of these things. First thing I tried was like some gears with a chain. I don't know what is the ratio, the gear ratio exactly. But it, it spins really fast. Obviously when when it's in the air it spins really faster than when you put it on the ground. But if it's light enough, it shouldn't affect it that much. But uh, it's it was not a really good model doesn't even turn so I, I save a lot of weight but it, that's not really something you you want for a car you want it to turn but it, it takes so much space to just add the steering rack and also the motor that turns it so this model is obviously faster than the rally car but uh, like I said it doesn't turn and it's it's so poorly made that it, it breaks all the time then I started from scratch again. Actually, I I just used the um, the the frame of the of the rally car to begin with, and I I changed the steering rack, and uh, the the motor placement is a little bit weird, but it, it works. That's also a really light model because there is nobody. So this model is really way lighter than the, the rally car, so that's why it's faster. And also I use the Power Dot app instead of the Control Plus, because it makes it way faster. I mean, the, maxi the maximum speed is the same, but it, it accelerates way faster.
At first I started filming my creations to, uh, to build some, ki some kind of archives because usually uh, I have to dismantle pretty much what I do to make something else because I don't have like the largest Technic collection ever and I only have one hub so even if I have like four motors it's like I just have one hub so if I, if I want to have like two, two RC, uh, two, two cars it's impossible like I mean, I can just motorize one at 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 a time, so um, that's kind of the reason why I start filming. Just just to have memories of what I did, and also to take notes. And it's it's also nice to see the evolution of, of your uh, own creations. Also, I want to try different ideas and models, uh, make some experience, you know, uh, improve gradually the models. And then I started to test the climbing abilities because uh, it's nice to have speed, but torque is also important if you want to climb um, stuff and go outside, maybe build a crawler, I don't know. I started to notice the red light was often flashing. At first I thought it was because the motors were uh, working too hard but then I realized it, it can also be the that you just have no more batteries or a combination of both.
I just tried a different motor placement. Uh, this is a vertical placement. The first time I tried it, uh, there is no differential or I, I mean, you can call this a locked differential. So you can see this build has really good climbing abilities, like the other one, but it's not that fast. The next thing is the addition of a second motor and some kind of body. But all this new stuff adds weight, so it's uh, it's kind of hard to improve performances. Um, I'll probably try later to build a new model from scratch and make it the lighter possible. But that will be ugly because there will be nobody. Uh, but anyways... the lock diff to make it faster. For now 
now this is the fastest mock car I made, but I broke something and I don't know why I can't fix it. So it's probably time to dismantle it and make a new generation.